Hey, what's up everyone? Today I'm gonna do a book talk about Jason Reynolds' book, The Boy in the Black Suit. Let's go. For starters, shout out to Jason Reynolds for making books that look just like me. You know what the funny part is? That I don't know Jason at all. Jason, I believe, grew up in Washington, currently living in New York. I am from Nova Scotia, Canada. Grew up in an all black community called Preston. And that's like really far away. So for me, who is now 31 years old, able to make connections to books from people, specifically Jason, who lives across the world for me, is phenomenal. So shout out to him for making those connections, for being real about what happened in his community and sharing those stories and I'm excited to share with you why this book is so awesome. Let's get into it. Well the boy in the black suit is specifically about a kid named Matt. Matt is a teenager in this book and he lost his mom through breast cancer. Throughout the book he is grieving and he is trying to figure out and navigate this world of lost and I love books that really have feeling and emotion and that's exactly what Jason does in this book. Now Matt loves to wear this black suit all the time. Now, here's a connection for me. I remember having a job in high school and it was at this like hardware store. I don't know if it was actually cool, but I would walk around in my suit all the time as well. And I think just having a job sometimes showed that you were being responsible, showed that you were um, adulting. And I think that was something that Matt was into. He wanted to show that, you know what, I have a job trying to do my thing and this is my my get up shout out to matt for wearing his black suit wherever he went so matt would use his, the funeral home as a place to handle his grief he would often look to find those who grieve the most and make connections with them he specifically found the funeral home because no other job would actually pay the amount that he was looking for. Now, he was basically just looking for an amount that was gonna help him hold himself over because his dad wasn't specifically in his life during the time. I know a lot about Jason um, Reynolds, but I do know that there is a thing about black dads being not in kids' lives. So Matt is going through this, this, this grieving period where his mom has passed and then he also has his dad who likes to drink a lot. He likes to drink not one, not two, not three, four or five or whatever it is while Matt is out adulting all by himself. So Matt could have had a job at this place called Cluck Bucket, but that didn't work out. So the funeral was where it was at. And he also met this gentleman who kind of helped him, kind of mentored him, kind of started to be a father figure in his life. And shout out to the moms doing double duty. Later on in the story, Matt meets this girl named Lovely. Now, Lovely isn't just any character. She is someone that you grow to love and try to figure out. She's a little bit of a mystery. And it's funny that Jason adds this character named Lovely in his story because growing in my community that there was always this mystery girl that everyone liked, specifically the boys. They thought she was um, pretty smart, tough, but didn't really give away too much. Didn't really talk to many people. Everyone wanted to talk to her, but she wasn't really Feeling anyone. That is what Lovely is in this story. She's tough, and cry, she doesn't show emotion, and that's what intrigues Matt the most. Matt is even more interested because he wishes that he could, could show that type of uh, non-emotion in his life. So he's interested in her and he wants to try and figure out what does she do to, to grieve? What does she do to handle the situations that she's in? Matt simply just sees her as very different. Now, shout out to, to Jason for the plot twist. Um, I, I don't wanna get into the plot twist, but you have to read the book to truly understand how uh, this book comes to life. I, I believe that the book starts off a little bit slow so you get to know Matt and the characters very well you get to to connect with them you get to root for them you get to truly get inside their heads inside their minds and how they're feeling and then there's this twist i'm just gonna leave it at that because i, I, I just can't give it away and the variety of the funerals that jason represents in this community i connect closely with the funeral that is jumping for joy the dancing the singing loudly and the cries and the tears and the mixed up emotions i specifically remember losing teammates that I played basketball with, teammates that I've played against. And it was surreal just going into a funeral, seeing them unresponsive. And again, Jason makes that connection and he brings back memories. He's able to really trigger 
feelings and emotions in his readers and that's what I was feeling throughout this entire book. I mean, as I'm reading it, I'm thinking about times at home where I'm sitting in a church and I'm sitting next to friends or I'm sitting next to family members in disbelief that I'm here um, celebrating a life of a friend who is the same age as me. And it's sad, it sucks. Uh, about to get really close and personal right now. This book I highly recommend for middle school grades. Uh, there are some concepts that will have to be definitely talked about with the teacher in small groups or in a book club, but the sense of loss and grief and emotion and death and empathy and all those things are rooted in this book. It's definitely something that all students need to hear. If you are one of those black boys in those communities, you will definitely love reading this book. The connections are unlimited. And if I had to give it a rating, I'd probably give it a five star rating. And not just because I like Jason as an artist, but specifically the, the many of connections that he's able to make Again, with me, uh, a, a black boy from Nova Scotia, from Preston, Nova Scotia, Canada, is like mind boggling. And if you don't know anything about Preston, I highly suggest you look it up. We hold a very deep connection to our other fellow Americans who look like us. And sometimes we, I wanna say sometimes, we go through a lot of the same experiences that you do. Uh, some of them not to the same magnitude, but I hear you, I see you. I, I feel you, I get you, I understand you uh, because we are so uh, similar in, in, in many ways. So that is it for today. I am out. I appreciate you. Thanks for listening. I'm out. Peace.